Welcome to Youth Arts in Action's Inspiring Artists series. Today we're interviewing Lucia Lacada and Marlon Dino, international ballet stars and principal dancers with the Bayerische Staatsballet. Thank you very much. You're very wonderful. It. It's a pleasure. <laughs> and I am going to ask them today about something very special that they've been able to find in their life. And um, they have a very rare uh, opportunity to be partners both on and off stage. And I wanted to ask you both, when did you first realize that you had this uh, special connection with each other? Um, it was very funny because actually I think we, we realized it first working mm -hmm. because we were not together uh, at the time, the first time that we started really performing together. Um, sometimes, I mean, you can dance many, many years with a lot of partners, but sometimes you can find this very rare quality that is this perfect connection in mm -hmm. between two people. And with Marlon, it was a bit like that. Uh, we were thrown in, in into a ballet, I think it was the lead, mm -hmm. and uh, it was just, we had like one, a couple, one or two days to rehearse the whole piece, Gosh. and we were just going on stage. And it's not an easy piece. It's no. kind of, it has to be very coordinated and, and to look fluid, to look easy. And I remember the first day we say, okay, let's just go for it, try and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. And it was really amazing. It was just um, when you have this feeling that the hand that you need there is there, uh, the other person it has the same timing that you do, the same rhythm, mm -hmm. is breathing at the same time as you do, it becomes really, really special. And it was, it was surprising, actually. I have to say that I was really, really surprised. And, and I've never had the chance to dance with Marlon a lot before. Um, and sometimes it can also change from a studio to a stage. Like mm -hmm. you, have, you get along well in a studio and then on stage, um, a person gets a bit stressed or nervous. And I remember doing the first performance uh, of Lee after the two rehearsals that we had, and I was really, really surprised. Not only because whatever it was happening in the studio was happening even better, but also because of the confidence. It's really important to have a person with you that even no matter how nervous that person is, it doesn't show. And I remember one thing that uh, it was very surprising even, which shouldn't, but it was, it was the way that he was looking at me. You know, he was okay. looking directly in my eyes. Mm -hmm. And I'm a person that always looks directly, but sometimes you always have these people in front that they're a bit nervous, that right. they, are, they don't dare to hold your, your, your eyes, uh, mm -hmm. to look at you directly. And I was surprised that, you know, we had this kind of connection, that he was looking at me, I was looking at him, and this creates an, an intensity on right. stage that, if not, is missed. Mm -hmm. So you can also give your strength to the other person and your security when that person is also looking at you directly in your eyes. And I was really, really surprised by that. And I remember that at the end of the performance, I even went to, to talk to Ivan. And because I've never, in my life, in my career, I've never doubted to complain when I'm not happy about a part of okay. people, about the dancer. I never doubted. So in this case, I thought it was fair for me mm -hmm. to go and say, I am really happily surprised mm -hmm. um, about how working the Mar with Marlon is and how the performance went. And I just wanted to tell you because mm -hmm. I was sincerely surprised. Mm -hmm. and, after we had the chance to, to do Giselle together and then we started working on Onyegin, which is the first ballet basically that we started working from the root, even mm -hmm. if I have already performed it. And um, I, yeah, I have to say that it's, it's wonderful. It's wonderful when you have this special connection with a person. Yeah. Um, it, it doesn't mean that it's easy, you know, it doesn't mean that it's not hard sometimes. And, Mostly us, you know. After, you know, after you get together in life and you get married, and and our rehearsals sometimes they can be tough, you know, because we are both of us very stubborn, very hard-headed, right. very uh, demanding with ourselves and with each other. So you know, our rehearsal sometimes mm -hmm. is a whole process of working and finding and till we are both satisfied and and but. At the end of the day, when we go on stage, all that work that we did in the rehearsal, still we are happy with it. Mm -hmm. um, pays off. Pays off, and right. it's wonderful to just be on stage and just enjoy. Were you nervous, Marlon, though? Because at this point, you weren't a principal yet, right? Yeah, that's true. So um, were you nervous to you know, go in the studio and just be like, OK, I've, no, got, to, I've got to get myself together now? No, the, the truth is that many dancers, when they, when they get this opportunity to dance with a principal dancer, mm -hmm. or especially with a, with a world star, let's say, 
uh, they get this, uh, oh my God, what should I do, what should I do? For me it was like, uh, I was so privileged actually to, to be able to dance with this uh, partner that I've almost never touched. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was confident in myself in a way that now it's my moment. I will have to enjoy my moment. I have to go for it. I have to do everything for it. And um, I'm not a person that gets scared easy when I'm when I'm on stage. It's, it's very rare that I'm I'm really really nervous. Of course, nervous inside you can be, but uh, what you show is like an illusion in ballet. It's like what you show outside, you never should feel inside. Especially when it comes to technical stuff. Afterwards, if you really feel and you are there and you want to make the best out of it, the only moment that you can do that is looking at the other person's eyes and take the energy from them and they can take the energy from you. So you can dance together and you become in one. Mm -hmm. Because a partnership is all it's about. is two people finding the same language. And I found this, uh, I found this amazing because, as I said, they were just two days. To work together, and I've never touched her. I always worked with other ballerinas, but um, she is very special in a way that she would be there where you expect her to be. And once she, um, when Lucia finds this confidence in a partner, she lets herself go even more than before. She is, she can be really. You have pictures that she is with with closed eyes, and you cannot believe that actually she was doing that because it's such a difficult lift. Though. It should come from inside you. If it comes from inside you, it can never be wrong. Your heart can never be wrong. So I wanted to ask then, because um, when you go on stage, you both pretty much, it sounds like, you know, bear your emotions to one another. So, you know, your partner's both on and off stage. How does that work? If you're not having a good day with each other in your private life, when you get to the studio, do you have to turn that off? Do you use that? I've always thought that that would be something that could be difficult for people, you know? We, we, you seem to do it. Um, I mean, at, at least me. Um, like. You know, you have days yes and days no days, mm -hmm. let's say. There's days that there are really no, uh, you can be very angry, but when you come in a studio, that rage that you have inside you, and you don't even know why, you can use it for good or you can use it for bad. Mm -hmm. Well, we try to use it in a good way, even if sometimes the words that you're saying, they are not really nice to the other person. But uh, let's say you would never do that with everybody that you know. Okay. You do with the person that is the closest to you because that person, even if you would get angry with you, would understand that actually we are working for the same goal, to make this piece or this ballet look as best as we can. Mm -hmm. And both of us, I know this for sure because it has happened like a thousand times, if we are not satisfied with one step, we will be there for two and a half hours doing the same step till we are satisfied and then we can say, okay, now it's time to have lunch. Mm -hmm. If not, no lunch. So it's a good thing both of you have that same approach yeah. to the work, right? And sometimes it's you know it's a whole process that you have to be you have to be careful because when you have this extra confidence with a person, mm -hmm. it can go both sides. Okay. So it's wonderful in the trust, but also there is these uh, moments, situations in which you're gonna talk to that person in a much closer way that you will talk to anybody else. Mm -hmm. So if another partner will do um, a mistake. Um, you'll maybe say, yeah, can we do that again? And if your husband or your wife does a mistake, you'll say, what did you do? You know? <laughs> so th that was are, right. What yeah. did you do that for? What are you doing? It doesn't like... So those are things that actually they're hard to control. Yeah. We always try. Sometimes we manage, sometimes we don't. But basically <laughs> what we manage is that sometimes, you know, we can get kind of angry in a rehearsal because you get frustrated or because one says something, the other one did something. But we kind of always manage to, once it's finished, it's over, we let it there and we don't bring it home. Oh, great. That's important. Oh, great. Okay. That's actually, we never had the problem to bring our uh, private problems to the studio because mm -hmm. that's never been an issue. No. Okay. But what is harder sometimes is to, when a rehearsal is kind of intense, to just say, okay, okay, it's over, we manage, we arrange it. Okay, let's forget about okay, it. So what would you say, um, as you know, yourselves, very successful artists, um, for other young artists, what advice would you give them then? It can well, in, in, in my opinion, um, to every dancer, just to follow their heart and just do what they believe is they want to do in their life. Like, for example, if it's for, for dancing, it doesn't matter what 
God gives you physical wise. If you really want something, you can have it. It's up to you. And partnership. It's the most important. Being a, being a partner, being behind that girl, transparent as I always, I always have said it, a guy should be behind a girl always transparent when he's partnering. It's not about him, it's not about her, it's about you together. Mm -hmm. Even if the other person doesn't see you because you're behind. Mm -hmm. But you're making a good job if she looks good. But I will Obviously say, you are. She keeps dancing with you. Hopefully. <laughs> what I will say that I find that is very, very important is that, you know, generation after generation things change. Fashion change. Yes. The taste has changed. And lately in the last years we've been seeing, you know, it's normal that we are always trying to achieve uh, to challenge ourselves and to get better and technically uh, better in quality and in quantity. The problem is that nowadays there's the younger dancers, they should think that we are not the strength, we are not getting it by being all the same. Mm -hmm. Everybody's trying to be like the other ones. Everybody's trying to turn more, to jump more, to make more uh, bravura. But the problem is that if everybody's doing that, you will never be different because you're just trying to do what everybody's trying to do nowadays. And what they are forgetting is that the most important thing for a dancer is to be unique, to be yourself, mm -hmm. to be different. Because if you only try to be the best of yourself and use your qualities, it doesn't matter if it's more in the artistic side or in the present side or in the quality of, of your arms or your feet or the way that you know how to use your head, it doesn't matter what it is. But with the qualities that you have, if you use them 150%, nobody will be better than you doing that. Mm -hmm. And what is important is to be different, is to be unique, is to be yourself. Not to be just um, part of a robotic, amazing quality technique dancer. Because nowadays everybody has this mm -hmm. amazing quality, this crazy technique. But they're forgetting to be themselves, to be different, to be, to be unique. Mm -hmm. You know, that is what it makes the difference, is that somebody will chose to come to see you perform not because you do everything in the way that others do, it's because they see something special in what you do. Mm -hmm. And I think that, of course, working is essential and everybody should work. And we come every day and hold ourselves to the bar and do our class and do, we work as much as we can, but still, they should never forget who they are and what they can do being themselves, being, being unique, being different, and, and respecting that, because that's important. That is what it, what it will make the difference and why somebody will choose you instead of somebody else.